Hey guys, what's up? Gabriel here from Chrome Unboxed and today we are talking dark mode. It's been a little over a year since Google officially rolled out dark theme for Android 10 back in September of last year. And uh, shortly thereafter, we discovered work being done on Chrome OS that would hopefully bring us the same features to our Chromebooks. Uh, just recently in a Canary update, the dark light theme option has finally arrived. And while it's not quite ready for the stable channel, we have two devices here, one with a light theme and one with a dark theme for you guys to take a look at. Because if you're like me, you really like dark mode. I like dark mode, all the things. Any app that I have that works with dark mode, I use it. My phone's in dark mode. And I would love for my Chrome OS devices to be in dark mode as well. So before too long, hopefully by the end of the year, you'll have that option. So let's take a look at the new Chrome OS dark light theme. All right guys, so we have this device on the light theme. You'll notice the bar at the bottom has a little bit of a translucent opaque look to it. And then the system tray here looks exactly the same. Uh, the first commit that uh, enabled this on Chrome OS literally just gave you this button right here that says dark theme off or on. You turn it off and the bar at the bottom, your shelf turned white and this toggle turned white. And for the light theme, that's really about all the difference you're going to see. Google does have a new set of wallpapers coming out called Elements and they each have a light version and a dark version that are meant to complement this light theme that they're having. So instead of being staunch white, it, it's sort of opaque with a little bit of translucence to it. But if you look in your system settings and the Explore app and things of that nature, it really doesn't look any different than Chrome OS right now. Everything that's white should be white. It doesn't affect your browser. Uh, so the light theme's very subtle. Now, where you see a lot of differences is when you come over here to the device that has dark theme on it. Uh, dark theme obviously takes a lot of work to implement because you're dealing with very, very dark elements and you're still trying to render things like web pages and system settings in a way that's visible and viewable by the user where you normally have things like black text and black logos and things of that nature dark mode would inherently cover that up. And that's something we saw a few months back when uh, Google was experimenting with forced dark mode on websites. Websites that weren't designed to handle dark mode would actually just end up looking black or they would be um, look like something that was in high contrast mode. The colors would be inverted or blown out and it just looked horrible. So this is something Google's had to put a lot of time and developmental energy into. Uh, it still has a lot of work, but here's your first look at the overall dark theme for Chrome OS. So you'll see this is very, very dark. Uh, this does have a slight bit of opacity to it. You can't really tell with this background, but these are designed to show just a little bit of color from your background. So you'll see that change depending on which wallpaper you have set. Uh, but with the dark theme on, you'll see your shelf is dark as well. And then your Chrome OS launcher is dark. So everything here looks pretty good. Every, everything looks polished. There's not a lot going on as far as uh, elements not, not rendering well. They've done a good job on this so far. Where things start to break down just a little bit are when you get into the system settings. Um, this white bar across the top, I'm sure that's probably a simple fix. But the settings menu looks pretty good. Um, some of these darker blues and stuff are probably going to need to be lightened up a little bit just to make them more visible. Uh, things like buttons and stuff that have very small borders around them. Uh, the Chrome OS team is going to have to find a way to make those smaller elements pop so that they're more visible. But overall, this doesn't look bad. Uh, what is really impressive is what they've done with the web UI. There was a couple more flags added last week that actually allow uh, for forcing dark mode again on Chrome. And if you have a website that has any sort of uh, white elements, those are going to be forced to a dark element. So this is Chrome Unboxed with the forced dark mode on. And honestly, it looks really good. If you ever ventured over to Gaming Unbox before we moved it over here, this is very much what Gaming Unbox looked like. But in days past, forcing dark mode on a website would generally result in just completely unusable. Most of your text would be gone because everything would be forced to dark and you wouldn't see anything. So they're doing a really good job here. Uh, this is still gonna require some work on the website owner's ends 
to have their website set up to handle dark mode. So, I mean, we could, we could code this to where if someone's on our website and the site detects that they're using dark theme on Chrome OS, this changed to a white logo, so it's more visible. But overall, Google's doing a really great job on their end of rendering these websites that are normally staunch white in dark theme. So you can see uh, Patreon's another great example. This looks really, really good. Patreon probably could just not touch their website and it's gonna look great on dark mode. Uh, so you have a few other things. The Explore app, which is the application that opens when you first launch your Chromebook. Google obviously designed this app, so it's already looking pretty good for dark mode. Uh, some of these colors are gonna have to change but overall, the dark theme is coming along really nicely. Uh, there's probably still a lot of work to do on the back end as far as the web stuff. And I don't know if Google's ever going to go to a forced web UI, but because some of the applications that run on Chrome OS are technically web apps, some of the system applications are actually web apps now, they're forcing that web UI so that they can get the dark mode on these system apps. Uh, I don't know that they would ever force dark mode on actual websites. That's something that should be left up to, to the developers as to whether or not they want their websites to render in dark mode. Uh, other than that, guys, you can just see everything is nice and clean. And one thing I learned while we were setting up this shot, I had both of these devices logged into the same account. And every time I changed the uh, dark light mode on one device, it would instantly switch on the other device. So whatever they're doing right now is syncing at an account level. So I actually had to log in to two different accounts to get this to work because it was changing every time I tried to switch it. So there you go, guys. Like I said, this probably still has some, some pretty decent amount of work before they're ready for prime time on this, but I would expect dark mode to be beginning of the year, maybe end of the first quarter, and uh, you'll see it in the stable channel. We'll keep track of it. Should be rolling up to the uh, developer channel pretty soon for Chrome OS. So uh, drop a comment below, guys. Let us know which one you like and why. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you'll get a notification whenever we put out new videos because we've got a lot more to come. See you soon.